Welcome to Oh Snap is Yan. It's me, Yan. And originally, this video was meant to be for my Discord community only, but I figured, you know what? I'm just going to share it with everybody. Look, if you're planning to stream or make YouTube content or whatever, and you have a terrible time trying to make your mic sound good, this is something to stick around to. So I've been streaming on Twitch for quite a while, and one of the hardest things for me was actually trying to get my mic to sound really nice without picking up too much background noises or anything. So it involved a lot of tinkering, like gain, noise suppression, noise gate, and all that stuff, which I'm not fully knowledgeable about. So it's a lot of trial and error, and I know it's frustrating for a lot of people who want to create content but don't understand the whole sound quality. Recently, on April 16th, NVIDIA released a thing called the RTX Voice. The RTX Voice is a plugin that allows you to cancel all the noise that's behind you, a fan, or maybe your loud keyboard that people are very known to have with those mechanical keyboards. I think this driver is really useful for those who don't know how to adjust their mic. Currently, RTX Voice is only meant for those who have an RTX graphic card, but I have a 10 series card right now and I actually know how to bypass it. I actually learned and found out about this from one of the guys on my Discord and watch a video by a dude named Barnacles. So the way he did it and the way he showed it works for him, but there was one step that actually didn't work for me. And I'm making this video to show you how to do it if you have any 10 series card or later. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the link for the RTX voice in the description. So all you have to do is just click on the link and it'll send you to this page right here. NVIDIA's page will show the outlook of everything that's going on with what RTX voice is, it's like an AI that helps remove distracting noise from the background. Uh, what requirements you need? And it clearly says it right here that the to use the RTX voice, you must be using an NVIDIA GeForce RTX or the Quattro RTX graphic card update, you know, number and so on. So they were very particular to put that in there saying that you can't install unless you have an RTX card, which I clearly don't. But like I said, I'll show you how to install it. So the supporting apps are like, OBS Studio, which is very popular, is what I'm using right now to record this video. And, you know, this Streamlag, XSplit, you know, a lot of people have different things. Discord, you could use it too. So to start, scroll all the way down until you see the setup guide and download the app. I so have to already have downloaded the app and it's actually on my desktop right here. All right, from this step forward, if you already have an RTX card, you don't have to worry about the, the steps that I'm going to show you. You just install it, you'll be all set. But this right here is for anybody who has a 10 series card or higher. So I'm going to show you right now. Uh, we're going to install it. I am running a 1060 in this build right now. I'm going to hit yes. Right off the bat, when this happens, this screen is going to pop up. So here's the RTX right here. Boom, right off the bat, it clearly says that NVIDIA installer cannot continue. NVIDIA RTX voice application is not supported to your existing GPU and RTX enabled GPU is needed for this application to run. So that's an issue. Now I'm going to hit close. And this is what you're going to do. You will have to hit Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager, and once your Task Manager is up, click on Run New Tasks. Type in Notepad, and make sure that this is checked off. It says Create this task with administrative privileges because you are the admin. You have to be able to have access as an admin in order to change these files. Hit OK, and and you can exit out of this Task Manager and you have the notepad up, completely empty. Here's what you gotta do. You're gonna have to hit open. And once you hit open, you wanna go to local disk. And then under local disk, you're gonna see a file that says temp. Double click that, and you're gonna see the NV RTX voice. Double click that. And another thing that you're gonna have to click is the NVAFX. Now, Clearly, you don't see any text document in here, but if you actually click down here on the right where it says text document, you're going to hit all files. Once you hit all files, you're going to go to the file that says rtxvoice.nvi. You click on it and hit open. When that happens, your notepad document will come out with all the basically script for that uh, file. What you want to do is you want to scroll down. Now, it's not really that far. It's about here under the dependency. There's going to be a file that says constraint. Okay. You want to delete that and then hit file and save. Now, this is what Barnacles did. And I, I tried to copy him for quite a while and it didn't work for me. After I exit out of this, 
I went back to click on the installation one and it kept popping up that I don't have an RTX card. But one of the guys in my group showed me this way where you're going to go click on start. You could go right into my documents and then you click on C drive. We're going to go back to the same folder again, temp, RTX voice. Now, when you hit RTX voice, don't go any further. This, there's going to be an application called setup right here. You're going to click on that. You're going to hit yes. And then just wait for it and boom, right there. It bypasses that RTX check. I'm going to hit agree. It's installing at the moment. Everything's installed, close. And then once you're done, this should pop up. It, it, they'll create an uh, icon on your desk. And this is all you need right here. That's it. So how, how you would use this is you want to pick the device that you're using as a mic. So for example, for me right now, I know I don't have it plugged in, but I'm, for this gaming PC that I'm using, I am using the Kraken 7.1 Chroma. It's actually this one right here. Okay. And it's important that you have this check. And then for the output device, it depends on what where you want the output for the audio to go to. So for this case, I'm just gonna put the vault device, uh, which is the system default, and I'm just gonna exit out of it. Well, yeah, exit out of it. And you're thinking, oh, I just closed it. You did not. And the bottom right is clearly right there. And you could uh, click on it and it'll come back up. Once you have the mic that you want for audio, this box checked off and leave the suppression all the way high for the time being and just leave this alone for default so until you figure out how to mess around with this. Once you're done with this, exit out of it. Go to your OBS or whatever you're using to live stream. Go to settings and under audio, at the moment, I have it for the Kraken 7.1, which is the headphones that I want to use. But if you guys look at the very bottom right here, it, when I'm not talking, there's a lot of white noises in, in the background. Watch. So what that indicates is that it's picking up way too many things in in the room right now from the air the ac that's going on right now i know you guys can't hear at the moment but this mic can now when i change this mic and auxiliary to microphone nvidia rtx voice which is that driver that we just install look at the bar at the bottom once i hit apply that is that's it it canceled everything in the background. It will pick up my voice and will cancel everything in the background. And you think this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. And I'm so like taken away by this. Such a big game changer. So like I said, if you're creating content or planning to make YouTube or whatever it is, please use this because this will save you a whole lot of trouble. Because for me, I'm not a professional at, you know, figuring out noise gate, suppression and all that stuff. This NVIDIA RTX voice does everything for you. So I hope this video helped you. Again, this video was meant to be for my Discord people, but I'll share it to everybody. It don't matter. If you guys have any questions on how to set this up or anything, just uh, comment below and uh, hopefully this works out for you. And if you're a streamer or a YouTube, post your link down below. I, I definitely should come check you guys out. So thank you for dropping by. Oh, snap, it's Jan. It's me, Jan. I'll catch you guys on the next one.